Hello everyone. Uh, this uh, video we have brought in for people who are interested to learn about the mathematics and in this recording we will be picking up the topic uh, related to the quadratic equation. So we know that this will be a key topic for the 10th class students. So I especially welcome the 10th class students for uh, this topic called quality equation. We will be covering some of the topics as part of this uh, recording and video. So we'll see how a quadratic uh, equation looks like uh, and then the quadratic function, how it has been defined, then examples of quadratic equation. And then uh, we'll try to solve the quadratic equation by factorization and also by completing the square and then we'll conclude in this video. We'll be coming with more examples in a later series of these videos but today in this topic we'll be covering that. So let's get started. Let's get started with this and then so for how a quadratic equation looks like. So a quadratic equation is uh, in, in a variable as x an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. This is how we represent a quadratic equation and uh, uh, the one thing we have to note is uh, a cannot be 0. If it is 0 then that's not a quadratic equation. So now we'll see like how a quadratic function will look like. Uh, in fact like in any equation of the form px uh, that's a polynomial is equal to 0 where px is a polynomial of degree 2 is a quadratic equation when we write the term of px uh, in descending order of uh, degrees then we get the standard form of the equation that is ax square plus px plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 is called the standard form of quadratic equation and y is another we will which is not equal to px is equal to so here like y is equal to px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is called a quadratic function Uh, let's pick up uh, an example of quadratic equation. So these are some of the examples of quadratic equation. So 2x squared plus x minus 3 is equal to 0 is called a quadratic equation. Similarly, 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. 4x minus 3x squared plus 2 is equal to 0. And 1 minus x squared plus 300 is equal to 0 are also quadratic equations. Now we'll check uh, whether uh, uh, some of the equations uh, are quadratic equation or not. So we'll pick a couple of them as an example and see and conclude if they are quadratic equation or not. So I'm picking up two. Uh, first, we'll check uh, x minus two whole square plus one is equal to two x minus three. Then we'll pick up another equation x into x plus one plus 8 is equal to x minus 2 into x minus 2 x plus 2 into x minus 2 now if you pick up the first equation the left hand side of that equation is uh, x minus 2 all square plus 1 is equal to x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 which is equal to x square minus 4x plus 5 now uh, we have just simplified the left hand side of the equation which therefore can be written compared to the original equation in the form of x square minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 2x minus 3. Now if you move 3 to the left hand side of the equation and then 2x to the left hand side of the equation then the equation can be written as x square minus 4x minus 2x plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 0. 
then x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0 is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and here if you see a is not equal to 0 therefore we can conclude that the given equation is a quadratic equation as we have learned in uh, the definition and introduced the core uh, way of presenting the quadratic equation. Now we'll pick up the second uh, equation here and see the example of x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2. Now if I pick the left hand side, so in this equation we might have to do for both left hand side and right hand side simplification to check whether this is a quadratic equation or not. So now if I pick this left hand side uh, which is equal to uh, x into x plus 1 plus 8. Uh, so when the x is multiplied to x plus 1 we will get x square plus x plus 8. Now we'll pick up the right hand side of the equation which is x plus 2 into x minus 2 which is nothing but x square plus 2x minus 2x minus 4 which is equal to x square minus 4. Now with reference to the original equation uh, which is like uh, uh, now like x square plus x plus 8 is equal to x square minus 4 uh, after the simplification this can be compared and written in this form. Uh, so now I have moved uh, minus 4x to the left hand side and x square to the left hand side which comes as x square plus x plus 8 minus x square plus 4 which is nothing but uh, if you simplify and try to subtract x square from x square and then uh, add 4 to 8 will get x plus 12 is equal to 0. So now since it's not in the form of ax square plus bx plus t is equal to 0, we can conclude that this is not a quadratic equation. Let's go over a factorization method which we can use it to solve the quadratic equation. Now we need to find the value of x so that ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 satisfy and to do that uh, we take will take an example to understand this. So for example we have an equation called 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. If we say x is equal to 1 and we replace x with 1 in this given quadratic equation then the left hand side of this equation looks like uh, 2 into 1 square minus 3 into 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 minus 3 plus 1 which is nothing but minus 1 plus 1 which finally equates to 0 which is equal to the right hand side of the above quadratic equation. In general we say the real numbers which satisfy quadratic equation as its root. So in the above example since x is equal to 1 satisfied the quadratic equation. So 1 is the root of quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so now we'll look into uh, another method of solving a quality equation. Uh, this is, we call it as by factorization. So here what we have to do is like, we'll pick up one example, find the root of this quality uh, equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factor, factorization. So uh, like we, we'll try to uh, split the equation in the form like it, we identify some of the factors and then we'll see like how it can be uh, it, it can be split first 
So to, to do that, we will pick up the left hand side of the equation, which is uh, 2x square minus 5x plus 3. So that can be written as 2x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 3. So we split 5 into uh, 5 as uh, 2x minus 3x. Now if you see 2x is a common factor between 2x square minus 2x and minus 3 is a common factor between uh, minus 3x plus 3. So now if you if you try to take out the common factors, our left hand side will look like 2x into x minus 1 minus 3x minus 1. Now it's you can see minus uh, x minus 1 is a common factor. So we can write this as 2x minus 3 into x minus 1, which is equal to 0, which concludes like 2x minus 3 could be 0 or x minus 1 could also be 0. So either one of them should be 0, 0 to satisfy this equation, which can be written as 2x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 1, which is nothing but x is equal to 3 by 2 or x is equal to 1. And that can be called as solutions or the real numbers. In other words, uh, which are the roots of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now let's see how we can solve the quadratic equation by completing the square method. So we now introduce the method of completing the square. The idea behind this method is to adjust the left hand side of the quadratic equation so that it becomes a perfect square of the first degree polynomial and the right hand side without x terms. To understand this we will consider the quadratic equation x square plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0 uh, which if you see here can be written as x square plus 4x is equal to 4 since I moved 4 on the right hand side of it, minus 4 to the right hand side of it. Now if you look into uh, the 4 can also be written as uh, the 4x can also be written as uh, x square plus 2 into 2x is equal to 4. Now the left hand side can if you look into is looking like a square plus 2ab uh, and uh, now if we have b square added to this it will look like a square plus 2ab plus b square which is a perfect square so by adding b square which is nothing but 2 square which is 4 to both sides we will have the equation looking like uh, x square plus 2 into 2x plus 2 square is equal to 4 plus 4 since 4, 2 square is nothing but 4. Now the simplified form of our equation is x plus 2 square is equal to 8. So now x plus 2 is equal to root 8. So now we can write x is equal to minus 2 plus minus 2 root 2. So this is how we, we, we do the uh, completing the square method and we can find the value of x. Okay. Now we'll uh, move on to pick up some uh, more examples. Uh, so one example for uh, to solve using the completing the square method. So if you look into this equation, it's like x square minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0. By completing the square, to, we have to check if the left hand side can be written in the form of a square plus 2ab. So to do that, we'll move 9 to the right hand side of it. So it looks like x square minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0, which is nothing but x square minus 10x is equal to minus 9. Now if I simplify the left hand side, it's like x square plus 2 into minus 5x 
is equal to minus 9. Now here, if we try to compare it uh, with our uh, method of completing, uh, like uh, solving this equation using the completing the square, now the left hand side is ax a square plus 2ab. Uh, with that, compared to our equation, b could be uh, b is minus 5. So uh, because b is minus 5, it will come around uh, b is equal to minus 5 square, which is nothing but 25. So we will add 25 to both sides of the equation which will look like x square plus 2 into minus 5. x plus 5 is equal to minus 9 plus 25. It's nothing but x square plus 2 minus 5. x plus 5 is equal to 16. This concludes to be x minus 5 whole square equal to 16. Now, if you take x minus 5 is equal to root 16, which is nothing but x minus 5 is equal to 4, since 4 is the root of 16. So, we'll get x is equal to 9 after we add up 4 and 5, since we have brought 5 from left hand side to the right hand side, which concludes that x is equal to 9 is the root of uh, the, the uh, value which satisfies the quadratic equation. So in this uh, recording we have uh, gone through the basic introduction about the quadratic equation, the standard form of it. We looked into that a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 where a, b, c are the real numbers and the b is a is not equal to 0. Next we looked into is uh, the real number alpha is said to be a root of the quadratic equation if it satisfies uh, it equal to 0. So like here when you have uh, alpha added to the value as a value of x then the x alpha square plus b alpha plus c should be equal to 0. Then we also look into if we can factorize this uh, ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 into a product of two linear factors then the two of the quality equations uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 can be found by equating each other uh, equating each factor to and then we also checked at last uh, quadratic equation can also be solved by method of completing the square. So in this video, we have looked into these topics. We'll come again with more example statements uh, related uh, solutions for this quadratic using the quadratic equations. So till then, uh, thank you and please uh, do remember to subscribe my channel and we'll come with more examples uh, and uh, uh, we'll look forward of more learning for 10th class students. Thank you. Thank you.